what? Where are we? What's going on there? <laughs> That's right, it's the city. Uh, I am currently in a fancy hotel suite. Ooh la la. <laughs> my dirty, dirty laundry. Uh, and you can see here, I've got myself a bit of a setup. <laughs> We're gonna try and do some videos here. I'm gonna keep it down so my voice is a bit low. I'm also not feeling great. I'm also doing that thing where I'm looking at myself in the camera instead of the camera. <laughs> so apologies. <laughs> but um, yeah, hi. Welcome to an After Dark, uh, special After Dark live from Sydney. <laughs> Whilst I'm on a conference, look, I got my room service and everything. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so the next couple of videos for the After Dark are going to be uh, a little bit quieter and filmed on location. <laughs> I don't know if I've explained After Dark. Uh, yet, but it's basically like low quality, like lower quality. They're kind of filmed after my kids go to bed normally. Um, and it's just kind of to get stuff out there. It's, you know, not edited as, it's not as refined in the editing. Uh, yeah, oh look, this is my, these are my pajamas. There's a bear and he's uh, dressed as a cowboy. He's ranch dressing. <laughs> my wife hates that joke. My wife also said, look, you'll be, look, see, look, I brought... All of my, oh, hang on, I'm trying to go, like, all my, all my minis, all this thing. She said, you're the, uh, you know, she's like, I feel very safe with you as a husband. Most husbands go on a conference and wives worry about them hooking up with hookers or whatever. But you're just going to play minis. <laughs> By yourself, you loser. <laughs> anyway, without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, this is uh, our portable battlefield. I don't know if I've shown this before, but uh, it's made from two picture frames that are kind of glued together <laughs> they're hinged together uh, made for exactly occasions like this I'll just move this out of the way you can see here it's really dodgily done it's like all hot glued but the um I'm gonna move that out of the way the boards are removable the cardboard so I can use them for other things and I've just got the static grass and that's the back they're like picture frames you know and I've just hot glued it in <clears throat> and the other side, you can see here, I just drilled a hole to put that. I also put some brackets on, uh, I don't know if I can lift it. Ooh, I can, it's not very good. <laughs> see, this one's shiny so I can like ride on it with a dry erase marker uh, if I need to. So it's good for like dungeon gaming and things like that. You can see I've just put some brackets. It's got a, well, can I get it in the shot? Ooh. It's a little, just a little, like, you know, clasp of a jewelry box type deal. And um, it's deep enough to store quite a bit of stuff, <laughs> you know. Uh, it works out all right. Let's slide this in, it goes nice and flat. Obviously, there's a bit of a, you know, you have to imagine that's not there when you're playing, but... That doesn't cause too much drama. Hopefully we can still see that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm making everything get fucked up now. There we go. Can we zoom out a bit? No, it's as far out as it goes. Uh, yeah, you can see these things are just, um, they're like yoga mats that I've uh, sort of, you know, glued together, put some flock on. And uh, this is lichen. I don't know if you're familiar with lichen. It's like a little moss that they dye. You can get that from hobby shops nice it's just cardboard which I've put flock and some paint and, and glossy sort of stuff on and this is like a little battlefield that I can take away um, I just want to take a second look I know I make a lot of fun about myself about playing games by myself and um, playing with myself <laughs> make you know I make jokes about that sort of thing all the time uh, look I don't I don't think that's you know, very fair. <laughs> like, I'm doing it in good humor. I don't mind, you know, the jokes being made. Um, but if you are someone who is conscious of that, self con who does get worried about that, uh, please, I'm not... I want you to know that I'm not judging you in any way. Like, I'm just making that joke because I, I think it's funny for myself. 
Um, I'm not, you know, trying to besmirch anyone else's, um, anyone else's fun. Uh, so please be aware. I think this has gone down a bit. There we go. Please be aware. Yeah. Like I'm not, not trying to harsh anyone's vibe, you know? Um, yes. So, uh, please don't, don't take offense. I am just, uh, you know, <laughs> anyway, rambling, I think is the word you're looking for there, RJ, do you idiot? Anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I make that joke because I think it's funny. I don't, I don't think little of people who play with themselves, sometimes you got to, you know, sometimes you're in the Hilton, you got to play with yourself. So what's the plan for today? We've got a lot of games we can play, um, but I thought we'd give a crack. Oh, I didn't show you the rest of it. Hang on. So the other part of this that also fits in here is this um this little kit and you can see I've got some like objective markers I've got a measuring tape I've got a tiny d20 set I've got some bigger dice um, I've got these little tokeny bits to kind of you know show conditions and things I've got discs with letters written on them and numbers so if we need to like do random stuff we can, we totally can. Um, and so that's um, little crystal-y type things. I like my crystals, you know that. <laughs> if you watch this channel, you know I like my little crystals. Um, yeah. And we can fit a deck of cards in there too. Right, uh, and I've also got these, but you've seen these before. I keep them at home. So that's kind of my, oh, and the other, you know, it's got a, folds flat for travel purposes. Now, um, I also attach, I have two elastic bands that I can attach, um, you know, the plastic tubs that I keep my stuff in so we can use it on the road if we need to. So, um, yeah, that's, that's this fancy, fancy gaming thing. And I thought what we'd do today is we'd give this a try. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Um, but Hey, it's new. I don't think anyone knows what they're doing with it. <laughs> so, um, without further ado, let's get cracking. Oh, so th th that's not true. There is further ado. I lied to you. So, uh, like, all right. Quest says this, uh, you know, what they want you to do, make a massive list, use their online web random generator. They said, just use your whole army, use your whole collection. And so this is like a list of dwarves and elves and humans and things like that and you can see there's like oh sorry uh other guys good guys what are they called the dinosaur dudes lizard men's so like this is just a list of all my you know all my all my good guys to go against my sort of evil party that i've you know got um which we looked at in a previous video now what they want you to do is like put them all in randomize and pull out waves of like 150 points or, or whatever like depending upon how difficult the mission is or whatever i am not going to do that i'm going to do things a little bit differently now because i'm on the road i've only bought so many miniatures so i'm going to focus on dwarves as the bad guys but if i was in a um larger sort of setting where i've got all my miniatures um, what I would do is I'd make each suit be like a faction. So I've got dwarves, I've got elves, I've got dinosaur dudes, and I've got something else. I don't know. This might even just be the dwarves and the dudes. Dwarves, high elves, saurians, and human empire. So there you go. So I'd make like each faction one of those things. And then each sort of bracket of cards I would draw for. Um, in this case, what we'll do is we will just make... Like, I'll, I'll take one suit out, probably hearts, because I like hearts, because I'm a romantic deep down in my heart, which is another reason why I won't be hanging out with hookers while I'm on my conference, but there you go. Um, you know, and then what I'll do is make it so that, well, that's not a heart, that's a diamond. That's a heart, though. Uh, what I'll do is I'll make it so that, like, one through whatever is the right number of dudes. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, so like my, my weaker guys will be small dudes. My, my scarier guys will be the king and the, and the jack and the queen and sort of make that, um, 
Make that be how I randomize my guys. So I'll let you know more about that in a second. Okay, so we're gonna do, this is gonna be like a session zero, I think, um, just cause we have to do a bit of preparation, uh, preparatory work. So if you wanna, if you're here for a battle, Skip this skip this one next video is the one for you Let me know also in the comments if you like the slower videos or if you'd prefer it to be fast-paced because if I can talk this quietly at home I can make a lot more videos. It just means it goes kind of slow and there's a bit more lower energy I don't mind the lower energy, but yeah, I forgot to mention before like that our uh, travel thing was inspired by Bill make stuff So if you know that channel he made like a much better version of that <laughs> with a thing. Anyway, you're not here for that. You're here for this. <laughs> Age of Quest beta. So, let's just quickly have a look here at what, what we're doing. So, these are my heroes. And I just I just noticed that the, the Rift Demon is like 150 points. Which is like two of these guys together. You know what I mean? Like 90, 75, 85. So, she's a bit expensive. And I don't know why. <laughs> but there it is. <laughs> Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to use the two Scarletta and Valdern, the two Dark Elves. Um, they're 90 and 75, so that's like 165 points, 150 roughly, right? Um, and so the reason why we're doing that is um, for this, this reason here. So depending upon what difficulty you choose, which is in difficulty one, the percentage of how big a wave size is, it goes from being 50, 100, 150, 200. We're going to start with difficulty 1, 50%. So 50% 50 of 1, 150 is 75 ish, right? Um, now, the reason why we're doing that is because I only have so many units. Now, I did find that I brought my, um, I brought my bearded veterans. I got them, and I brought a Berserker Lord as well. But we're not going to include them just for campaign one. I didn't realize I brought them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, <laughs> done it. But this is this is just kind of fishing out my thing. Oh, I didn't write on there. So uh, an ace to four. So what we're going to do? We're going to take these cards. Eh. I'm going to shuffle them all up. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And we're going to draw a card. Then, if it's a four to an ace, it's going to be the warriors, three of them, which is, they, they're pretty weak, they're quality 4, defense 5, they're slow, they're on, that's only 25 points, so that's quite a weak wave, in theory we should have 9 of them, or give them like, each have that, that stat, like th 3 attacks, 3 wounds, whatever, we're not going to do that, um, because on the other end of it, we have the king, if we get a king to a jack, we're going to get the dwarf champion, and he's worth 150. Uh, so if I draw that, all of a sudden, we have the King of the Dwarves coming on. He's Toughness 9, uh, and Villain, and Fearless, and Quality 3 and 4, and attacks 9 attacks with his hand weapon. Like, he is serious business. So, on the one hand, we want the, these guys to be, like, the ones we draw, I guess. It, it makes up for it, you know what I mean? They're 25, he's double what he should be. <laughs> okay, and then... Uh, if we get a 10 to a 9, that's going to be our minors. We'll get three minors out there. They're 50 points. So they're actually, you know, even they are a bit weak. But what are you going to do? And um, marksmen. We're going to have some marksmen if it's if it's 7 to 5. So one ace to 4 is the warriors. 5 to 7, marksmen. 8 to 10, minors. Jack to king, the, the, the guy. The, the, the king. Now, I actually am one marksman short, so I'm going to put one miner in, in, into the mix um, for, for the purposes of, of doing that. So, that is what we're going to do for this campaign. Our Dark Elves are moving through some uh, Dwarven territory. We all know Dwarves do not, are not friends of the Elves, and Elves are not friends of the Dwarves. So, that is the plan. But... And before we can kind of do all that, we have to actually build our campaign. Uh, so here's the here's the Excel spreadsheet part of it. <laughs> so the first thing we need to do, look, I got a fancy book. Oh, look, it's brand new. I bought it just for today. <laughs> That's right, quest. Quest. 
I'll make it look pretty later. <laughs> this is what you came for, guys. Me writing the word quest in a in a in a in a book and taking my sweet time about it. But you know what? I'm on holiday. Screw you, hippie. <laughs> I am on holiday. I'm gonna do little little spiky bits. Yeah, you really cared about that. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> my my first step is to work out how many chapters my campaign is gonna be. It's gonna be D three plus one. A four is two plus one is three chapters. So we'll have three chapters. Chapter. Chapter one. We'll see how many of these missions we get through as to whether we, um, you know, whether, whether we incorporate other factions. We might be home by the time that happens, right? You know what I'm saying? All right, each chapter, uh, each mission, before each mission, roll for a random travel event, then roll to see what objectives you will have. Once all chapters have been played, the final chapter with D3 missions. Um, oh, and each chapter has D3 missions, so let's do that. Chapter 1 has one mission, so that's nice and easy. Mission 1. Alright, let's have a look at what the primary objective for Mission 1 is going to be. That's a 3. Retrieval. So let's just bring this over here. Mission 1. Retrieval. All right. So as elves, we're going into we're going into dwarven territory because we need to get something back. Uh, retrieval. Place one objective marker within six inches of a random table corner. That counts as the AI goal. If the heroes are deployed in the same corner, move the marker to the center of the table. Uh, heroes within one inch of the marker may pick it up using a skill action and pass a dex test and drop it within one inch if they are shaken. Objectives are completed when the hero carrying the marker ends its activation within six inches of the hero corner. That's pretty good. Now, uh, after this primary objective is completed, at the end of the next round, set up a random secondary encounter and increase alertness by 3x. So that's something that happens when we're when we're in it. Okay, so let's let's see what chapter two has for us. Chapter two. Chapter 2 is going to have two missions. Mission 1 is going to be 3, another retrieval. So we're, we're trying to get, we're trying to get um, lots of things. <laughs> uh, another retrieval, okay. Alright, so. Okay, so our goal, we're, we're, on, we're on a raid. <laughs> and, uh, there we go. Chapter 3. Oh, it's going to have 5 missions. Whoops. Wait, it's D3, so 3 missions. That's cool, it escalates, right? <laughs> Alright, mission 1. Not retrieval. There we go. Target defense. Target defense, place one objective marker randomly at the center of a table quarter or center of the table, which counts as the AI goal. Heroes may use a skill action whilst within one. Uh, if passed, the action around the hero is within three inches of the marker while enemies aren't, then it's seized. It gets one token. Objective is complete once the marker has six tokens. All right, that sounds pretty good. Mission two. Five, area search. There we go. Gets a bit more dynamic in chapter three. And then chapter, oh, another retrieval. I'm going to reroll that because that's too many retrievals. Six, delivery. Yeah, there you go. Shh, you didn't see anything. <laughs> Whoops, I said mission six. Well, it is technically six, right? There we go. And then the final chapter. Okay, we want it to have only one, really, don't we? Ugh. 
two. Is that right? Did I do that right? Uh, once all half with D3 missions. Okay, so it's got two missions. Uh, mission one. It's going to be... Are you kidding me? I guess maybe we lose our stuff. Mission two. Is four. Have we already rolled a four? Probably. What is mission four? Investigation. Ooh, that sounds fancy. Alright, so we've got our campaign structure. Um, we've done all the paperwork, more or less. We know what we're doing. And um, then they can level up as they go through, which is pretty good. So, hopefully, that kind of gives us a bit of a story of, of what our focus is. We're really trying to get back some artifacts that the dwarves have stolen. Uh, or maybe, maybe they've, uh, you know, done, maybe they maybe we are raiding them for some special, special deals. Anyway, that's, um, this video is long enough. <laughs> I'm going to shut up and let you go. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video where we'll actually play a game.